Salutations, my fellow xenophobes. My name is Four Extraordinaire, and we have a interesting, to say the least, release date for Overlord. It is going to be releasing sooner than the Fate of Iberia pack. Uh, I thought it'd be releasing sometime past May, like maybe early June, but uh, we've been graced with a very early release date of May 12th and a very Dune-like trailer here, um, giving me very strong uh, illusions of the first Dune movie that was kind of adapted. Anyway, um, very interesting. It's going to be featured around enclaves, new types of enclaves, expanding on many of the enclaves from the uh, Leviathan's expansion, which was hard to believe, all the way back in 2015, nearly half a decade ago, with um, almost seven years, uh, with the different enclaves introduced in Leviathan. So that's really great. Um, there's a lot of new content, but it has me begging the question, is it being released too soon um, with what we've been seeing so far from the developer diaries? I wanted to talk about that just a little bit um, and kind of speculate on the matter. So I actually did go back and double check the time between patches. And if you do look between the very, I can't believe Nemesis was a year ago. It feels like it flew by so fast. But if you take a look at the date here, um, it released nearly a year ago, um, almost a perfect year ago on April 15th. And then it is the new DLC reworking vassal relationships and enclaves with Overlord is being released on May. So almost 13 months later. So Naturally, it actually isn't. It's a fairly typical um, release time for an expansion. They're usually about 10 to 12 months, just checking in the past history or even um, closer together. Um, so Overlord had actually fallen into a standard pattern of DLCs. They'll do a species pack like with Aquatics or Necroids. Then they'll release a big expansion, a la Nemesis, or in this case, Overlord. So the DLC timelines are actually lining up. It was kind of just me being weird, but I kind of did feel a bit odd about the Dev Diary timing. Now, perhaps I'm just misimagining things, but I feel like we have a bit more Dev Diary exposure and more mechanics reveals or balancing changes. I know we have a few Dev Diaries left in the works. We have at least two or three weeks until Overlord officially drops, but I just, it's kind of odd. I just, going back to Le Guin and the bug fixes and all that stuff that kind of fell out, I kind of get a little bit of a bad feeling about this. I don't know if we didn't have enough time for the Dev Diaries, but someone that has been playing since 2015, and I could very easily be wrong about this, I feel like it is releasing perhaps just a little bit too soon. I wish we had a bit more exposure in the Dev Diaries, but who knows, I may be wrong. This may be a flawless release time. So I just wanted to air some of my concerns, but I think regardless, the Overlord does look fairly promising. I can't wait to see what the Enclaves look like. And I can't wait to see what we have in store um, with the various different kind of play styles introduced and perhaps a more tall um, oriented expansion. So those are just a few of my irrational concerns there. But uh, this has been 4Extraordinaire. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any other concerns too, uh, or if you're just genuinely hyped up for the expansion, let me know. Um, and also leave a like if you want to support the content and see more speculation and whatnot, especially with CK3 um, and more Stellaris content. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been for Extraordinaire again, and I hope to see you guys later. All right. Love you guys. Peace.